Hey, how's it going guys? In this PyQD5 tutorial, we're going to learn how to use our mouse to draw a rectangle shape. Alright, so let me uh, launch the demo first. So here's our application. It's a blank window right now, but if I hold my mouse key, I can create a rectangle shape. And when I let go my mouse, the shape is going to stay on the window. And I can add another shape. So basically as many shapes as you want. And those shapes will be in rectangle for uh, shape. So this is the exercise we'll be doing in this video. Right, so here let me insert my code slipper. So from the import statement, these are the classes we need from the Qt widgets module and the system module. From the Qt code module, I will add Q point, Q red. So this class allows you to draw the rectangle shape. And from Qt GUI module, I'll insert the Q pix map class and Q painter class. Now let me uh, maximize my window. All right. So here's my main routine. And let's go back to uh, my app class. And since we'll be working with uh, the mouse press and the release events, so we need to create three different events to handle the mouse press. So the first event is the mouse press event. Oops, should be capital P. The second event is the mouse move event. And this should be event. And the third event is the mouse release event. Now I'll start with the mouse press event first. So I want to start by creating a cube painter object. And make sure that you assign self to the uh, parent widget. Inside the mouse press event, we want to use the painter object and to draw a pixmap object. So here we'll insert an empty Q point instance. And we need to create a pixmap object. So here let's go back to the top. And here I'm going to insert the paint event. The paint event is going to fire every time when we want to make a change to the window itself or the interface. Actually, uh, these two lines should go into the paint event itself. And let me go back to the constructor. So here let me create my uh, QPixMap instance. And it's going to be a, a empty object. And for the size, We'll take the window size. So we'll reference the red method dot size. And this will return the window size. Then we want to fill the background with uh, white color. Now I want to go back to the paint event. And I want to assign the self dot pix uh, object. And let me come out these three uh, methods. Let me see what I have so far. All right. So here I'm going to create two uh, Q point instances. And the first point is going to be the corner where we're going to start to draw the uh, shape. So I'll call this point self.begin. And then I'll call another point to self.destination. It's going to be a Q point instance for both. Now going back to the paint event. Here I'm going to insert if statement. I'm going to say that if not, self dot begin. So if these two uh, instances are not null value, so here I'm going to use the is not method to uh, validate. 
if both self.begin and self.destination uh, objects are not null, can we finish the uh, statement? Then I want to create my rectangle object. So we can insert the QRet class. And we insert uh, both points. So self.begin and self.destination. Oops. Then we can use the painter object to draw the shape. And we need to normalize the shape. Now let's take a look. So here we don't have anything yet. All right, so that's the uh, paint event. Now let's uh, handle the mouse press events. Here I'm going to insert if condition. So if the uh, button that I'm pressing using my mouse is the uh, left button, then I want to grab the uh, mouse position. And here I'll assign the destination corner is equals to the uh, beginning corner. And I'll update the event. Now let's go to the mouse move event. And I'll take, uh, so I'll copy these four lines. So basically the operations are very similar. Except that in the mouse move event, my destination is going to be the uh, event position. And they want to update the uh, event. And the last event we need to handle is the release event. And inside the release event, uh, we're going to recreate the rectangle shape. And at this point, we have both uh, starting point and the destination point corners. So I'm going to assign both uh, values to the QRED class. Now I can paint the object. So I'll create another uh, QPainter instance. I will insert the self.pix object. And I'll draw the uh, rectangle. And again, I need to normalize the uh, shape. And self.update. Oh, and I need to uh, reset the beginning and the destination uh, corner. And so we set both points. All right, so this is everything we need to type uh, to finish the script. Now let's give this a try. So here I'm going to uh, point my mouse right here. I'm going to press my left key and it's going to create my rectangle shape. I'm going to let go my mouse. And here the uh, rectangle shape stays. Now I'm going to create another shape. So here is another shape. Okay, so I see the other uh, object or the shape uh, disappear. So let me see uh, when the code uh, I mess up. Oh, okay, so here I have a typo. So this should be release. Now let me try again. I sent out the issue. So here I can draw the shape and the shape still disappears. Now let me try to use a different approach to debug the issue. So here's, I'm going to insert print statement. So this can be point one. And it's going to be point number two. And this will be uh, point number three. All right, so I see point uh, three never fires. So the, I will show you is this event right here. Oh, so this should be mouse. Let's try again. Okay, and we have now, so we have the same issue again. I'm going to move the print statement to the top. Okay, so I see point three fires. 
So let me change buttons to button. And that's the behavior we want. All right, so this is I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.